The five best breakfast meals to be able to lose your belly fat, your love handles, and your chest fat. The reason they're the five best is because it's according to a method that I developed called the ERE method. It has to be easy, it should be repeatable and enjoyable. What's extra special about all the meals I'm about to show you is that they're very high protein. Each meal will have at least 50 grams of protein. And the main reason why is we know protein has three crucial benefits that is important to be able to build muscle and lose fat. Number one, protein will give you the amino acids, the building blocks to be able to build muscle. The second thing that's amazing about protein is that it's extremely satiating. So if you decide to have breakfast, you can have a late lunch or a late dinner because you've had so much protein in your first meal, which will also help you be in a caloric deficit, which is exactly what we want when we want to lose fat. And then finally, protein can boost your metabolism. It does this fancy thing called it has the highest thermic effect of food, which is a fancy way of saying it requires your body the most amount of energy to break down protein. Let's not waste any time. Let's move on into the first meal and I'm going to show you how easy it is and it's probably my favorite so we're going to need a weight scale and we're going to need seven whole eggs now you can totally use egg white cartons fortunately where I live they don't have that so we're gonna have to do it the old-school way and I find it pretty therapeutic but then again I might just be weird because I've been doing this my whole life so I'm gonna crush that here and I also just find having a habit of putting my food on a scale all the time to be extremely useful Right? That way I always know Mike is the food on the scale and everything is being tracked. It gives me a peace of mind as well. Here, it shows here that in one whole egg, it's 45 grams, right? So I can always make a reference for that. So in one whole egg, there's 45 grams of egg whites. You guys can see that I'm a veteran at doing this. That is number three. This will be egg number four. Let's get that egg white in there. And in total, we got 294 grams of egg whites. But did you know the most nutritious part of an egg is going to be the egg yolk? It contains a lot of minerals and vitamins that are extremely crucial for us. That is also amazing for muscle building. So what I like doing so that we can still take advantage of that, instead of having seven whole eggs in here, I'm just going to take one so I can still have some of those healthy fats in here. So I will throw in the whole egg into this one and voila. And now we can make our omelet. Now we'll whip it excursion. I'm gonna put a little, a little bead a little bit. If you have the macros for it, you can add a dash of milk. Because I put so little, I'm just gonna add a little dash of it. It's so negligible in terms of macros that it won't even make a difference. So I just like adding a little bit of milk. It will add just a bit of creaminess to the egg white omelet when you make it, right? Voila, that's ready. So another pro tip, what I see a common mistake is, is adding too much olive oil or any of your oils, right? Especially if you're just gonna do it in liquid format. And the idea of adding the oil is just so the food doesn't stick to the pan. That's all you want. You don't wanna spend your precious fats on just adding it to the pan. So what I highly recommend is a Pam spray oil, which will be about zero calories, right? According to spray, or you can use one pal spray by Frylight and well, that's all you need. I'll whip it one more time and then I'll add it on here. Pro tip is clean your dishes while the food's cooking. It will save you time. It's a good habit to have. So something that I like doing as well, right? Just to make sure that your meal is fluffy is you just want to fold them in to each other like that. You just want to do this a few times. And this gives the meal some, I like, I like the thickness of it. Now that's done. And then what we need, four slices of toast. We're gonna put in a toaster. As we get to the final stage, I'm gonna cut up some spring onions, because who doesn't like spring onions, right? And you can fold these up a little bit. I'm gonna use them throughout all the meals, so. Something else I like doing is I'm gonna add this cheese, and because we're gonna have four slices, something, another pro tip, because the toast is hot and you don't want it to get moisture, put it like that in a triangle, and it will retain the crunchiness the toast so let's do this I'm gonna go take some cheese here I'm gonna apply like a thin amount of the cheese on the base and this cheese here that I'm using is very low calorie super so I'll put that there and now we're just waiting on the next one so I'm gonna add spice and you can add any spice you like calories on spices negligible and just be consistent about how much you add spice has been added another pro tip is I like adding spice onto food once it's prepared why because if I added spice into the actual egg you may not even taste all of that what happens is you add spice during preparation and then you add more spice after you've prepared it so you could taste the flavor and that's how you double your sodium intake so I just like putting the spice on the surface of the meal and that's all you need 
the toast is ready adding the cheese to it beautiful that's one and then we add this one here and the meal is basically done so we're going to add our eggs to the meal how we want it cool so now I like adding some of this cheese on top of the eggs again all right so I'll, I'll like adding like a little thin film on there I will be honest with you guys the one tough thing about making these videos and prep I'm still fasting at the moment so I'm not gonna eat these meals now it does get my appetite going so leave a like for the boy preparing all these meals for you just so you can see how to make it while oh, he's hungry okay. and then final part is and you and you can add however much spring onions you enjoy i'm a big fan of spring onions so i don't mind showing this meal some love voila here we go meal numero uno is an omelet with four toasts incredible egg white omelet with four toasts we still have the egg yolks in there beautiful amount so the macros of this meal here come out exactly to be 54.3 grams of carb we have 15.1 grams of fats and 49.2 grams of protein on here an amazing meal to have very easy to make very quick voila there you go with some spring onions let's move on to meal number two the next meal i wanted to make because i wanted to show you guys an option that you can have even when you're traveling let's say you're at a hotel and you decide to have an all-you-can-eat buffet and you want to figure out man what meal can i have that i can still utilize and hit my macros so i will show you exactly how to prepare it every restaurant at a hotel will always have boiled eggs so you're going to need four in total and i'm going to show you what to do with those boiled eggs and every restaurant typically will also have tuna if not you can carry tuna with you so we're gonna just drain this here and whenever you buy tuna make sure that it's tuna in water and not tuna in oil just because you're going to have unnecessary fat in your macro so i'm gonna drain this so we're going to be using this bowl now to track 50 grams of tuna. And we'll take that here. Let's turn this around. So 50 grams of tuna. And I'm just gonna break them up like this, right? Cause I want them shredded. So we're almost there. We're at 40 grams, 48, 49, 50. I'll take that. So we have the first ingredient, right? Which is the tuna. Second ingredient is we're going to need the four boiled eggs. I'm gonna switch these off. I'm gonna drain it and then I'm gonna pour cold water over the boiled eggs so it's easier to peel. When you go to your hotel, you can just ask the chef, hi, can I have four boiled eggs, right? And ask them if they can, if you can get tuna. Tuna is a plus. If you cannot get tuna, maybe ask for five or six boiled eggs for more protein. And this is all you need to do. And this is the benefit of putting the eggs in cold water. It just makes it a lot more easier to peel. Perfect. So now you now have your four hard boiled eggs. What we want is we're going to remove three of the egg yolks from here. So we're going to be extracting egg yolks from each. And it's okay for the egg white to break. Essentially, what we have now is three whole egg whites and one whole egg. So this is what we wanna do with the egg whites. We wanna cut them up into little pieces, right? So this is just purely protein, right? And now you've, you're at this restaurant and they've just given you, and you've done this. So I want you to cut these up into little pieces. And again, if they don't have tuna, you can just ask for a few more, right? For more protein. And you just wanna get them in cubes, right? And then what I'm going to do here is I'm also going to remove the egg white and I'm just going to keep the yolk. And again, all the most of the nutrients and minerals is in the yolk. This is all we want. We just want to cut it up into fine pieces like this. Perfect. Now I'm going to pour or I'm going to add the egg whites in here. And what's again, what I like about this is you can make this anywhere at a hotel. If you're in a um, hotel room, you can just order these egg whites now. We want to mix together first, right? So this is purely just protein that's coming together nicely. Now we want to make it a little bit more creamy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one whole egg and I'm going to squish it in there to create a paste and mix it in really well for some healthy fats. And as we do this, you also want to ask them for four toasts that we're going to add these onto. So 
While I'm making the paste, I'm gonna take four. I'm gonna put this in the toaster. Now, we wanna add 50 grams of mayo to make this more of into a paste. And what I'm also gonna do, the spring onions I had earlier, I'm gonna add it to that. So I'm gonna add spring onions. And now we're gonna add 50 grams. Yeah, so I am using light mayo, and this allows me to use a lot more. And you can use any mayo in reality, but um, because I'm using light mayo, I can definitely add more. Now, I'm just gonna mix this up really, really well. And at this point, you can add your salt, you can add your peppers, anything else you want to give this more flavor. And I'm not gonna add too much because you guys, as you remember, I like spicing the meal after it's prepared. So this is what you want it to look like. And now, I'm gonna start adding my egg whites onto the toast. Meal numero dos is the breakfast meal that you can have anywhere. The macros for these are 673 calories, carbs is 68.3 grams of carbs, fats at 25.2 grams of fat, and then protein at 41.5. So we're in between the 40 to 50 grams range. Now, could we make it 50 grams of protein? Absolutely, we can add a little bit more egg whites and we can add more tuna. So again, 50 grams of tuna, we use three egg whites and then we used one whole egg, which also contains protein and fats. And if you wanted to make this more fat friendly all you need to do is remove the egg yolk and not have any egg yolk at all and you can also reduce the amount of mayo that you utilize but because the mayo is so low calorie it is perfectly fine to add and voila this you can have anywhere tell restaurant on the go perfect meal to have let's go to meal number three figuring out meals like these for my clients is really what allows them to be able to maintain their physique year-round because this is foods that they genuinely enjoy eating they don't feel like they're on a diet so if you're a busy dad, you've worked your entire career to be able to have that financial freedom, you're now making your six to seven figures, and you've been trying to take care of everyone around you, but you wanna be able to be there for your family for the long run, to finally see your six pack in 2024 and get into the shape of your life. You've tried the fad diets, you've tried intermittent fasting, you've tried keto diets, you've tried it all. Maybe you've even taken a Zempic or any of the other medications out there and that hasn't worked. I can help you. All you need to do is to fill out the questionnaire in the description down below and I'll tell you about the DNA sequence which is the method that I utilize with all my clients that allow them to have these sustainable results. I'll take you through that and I'll be able to give you advice on what you can do to move forward between myself and my team but fill that questionnaire out to the best of your ability. We'll jump on a call and I'll see you on the other side. Let's move on into the meal number three. Protein pancakes and people tend to not want to make them because it's going to take so long but watch how quick it is. So I'm going to be using my Ninja Creamy but you can use any blender and I'm just going to put the ingredients in here. First of all, we need to make a high protein pancake, you need protein. So we're gonna get 250 grams of egg whites, right? So let's make that. We're gonna add that in there. That's about 60. So 250 grams is what we want. We're at, we're at 105. It should get us to 150. So we're at 147. And this is gonna get us to 238. And I'm just gonna leave it at that because if I use another egg white, it'll take me over. So 238 of egg whites. So now that's sorted. Next ingredient that we want is actually some protein, right? Just to add a little bit more protein. I'm gonna be using peanut butter cups, right? So you can use any protein. And I'm gonna put in one whole scoop. And I'm just gonna tear that in. One whole scoop here is 35.5 grams, right? So 35.5, that's 31. 35 there we go next ingredient is we want 60 grams of oats so we're just gonna add that here and 60 grams of oats 60 on the dot and now the final ingredient is we want to add half a banana in there and these are all your raw ingredients to make your protein pancake. Now, we're just gonna add them to the Ninja Creamy. Now, you can use anything. I'd usually use a Nucci bullet, but for some reason, it's it won't fit here. So I'm gonna add that in here. Now, we're just gonna click on Milkshake. And that should have our batter ready. Beautiful. So here we go. Now, we have perfectly battered pancakes mix. Now we can make our pancakes. So just so it doesn't stick.
and we have our quick and easy protein pancakes. It's so easy to make. All you need is 250 grams of egg whites. Throw in a scoop of protein in there, add half a banana, and you put 60 grams of oats, and voila, you have your protein pancakes. You just have to blend all those ingredients, and voila, you have it, and you need a pan with spray. The macros on these, 603 calories for this entire plate. There's 58.4 grams of protein, only 7.4 grams of fat, and finally 76.3 grams of carbohydrates. You can save yourself on the carbs with removing the oats if you like, and that can save you a lot of the carbs, but voila, you have this here. You can also make a different flavor. If you wanna add a sauce on there just to make it a little less dry, you can use PB2, right, a chocolate flavor or the peanut butter flavor. You can also use Walden Farm zero calorie syrup and add it on here. What I've decided to add is some cinnamon. You can also throw blueberries in here. Make it however you like. This is an amazing and easy sweet breakfast to make and it shouldn't take you too long. Let's move on into meal number four. Before I go on to the next meal, I'm considering maybe doing a lunch version or a dinner version. If you guys want me to make that, then leave the video with a gentle thumbs up. I might even make a PDF with all the ingredients and comment down below, Dr. Mike, make the lunch and dinner version and make a PDF out of all of the meals. I'll make like a master PDF showing you the breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks absolutely free for you guys. Just leave the video with a gentle thumbs up and I'm happy to do that. Let's move on into meal number Let's picture you woke up late and you need to get food in you very quickly because you're not going to have an opportunity to eat. Best thing you can always do is having some sort of smoothie, right? So the first thing we want to do is have 100 grams of blueberries. It's very low calorie. It's amazing for your gut because there's polyphenols in there. And it is also an amazing fruit to have. That's also your serving of fruit. So let me wash these off. So I'm gonna have about 100 grams of blueberries in there. Now, for the purpose of this video, any blender works. I'm gonna have to use my Ninja Creamy because, well, long story short, this is the easiest to use. So I'm going to have 100 grams in there. Perfect, so then the next thing you wanna add is some low-fat milk to save yourself on the calories. So I'm gonna add 200 milliliters. So that's 170, 200. And the next thing we wanna add is a protein shake. So I'm gonna add one and a half, and that's about 50 grams. So this scoop is usually about one and a half. So we can be at that 40, over 40 grams, and I'll read you guys the macro shortly. That's where we are, 50 grams, very, very nice and easy. We can throw in some ice in there. So, you can just make this quickly on the go. That's why I have to add this in there for those guys who are just so busy. And there's still some here, I would just drink these. So, when you're in a hurry and you need to get a shake in, you can put this in your shaker bottle and you can be on the go. But another thing why this is such a good meal to have is I have a lot of clients, when they start working with me, I actually end up giving them a lot of food to eat in the beginning because they've down-regulated and they're metabolically damaged. So, an easy way to have more calories is if you need more protein, you can add an extra scoop in here. Or if you need more carbs, you can add honey or any other food, right? Or you can add oats if you want it to be a bit thicker. There's so much versatility when it comes to making a smoothie. You can make it a strawberry flavor. You can use strawberry instead of the peanut butter cups. And that's why I have this in here. It's easy, it's repeatable, and it's enjoyable. So that's why it makes my list. But Let's move on into the last meal. The breakfast of champions, oats has to be in there. Have you ever wondered why you see so many bodybuilders eat oats or why oats is such a popular breakfast? According to the satiety index, comparing breakfast foods, oats actually is the highest and has the highest level of satiety. So it makes you feel fuller for longer. So an easy oats, an easy high protein oats is always a go-to to make. So let's prepare that. We will have exactly 60 grams of instant oats by Quaker. I'm gonna show you how to make oats because a lot of people don't make oats right. So first of all, we'll pour in the 60 grams. 30, that's 40, that's 60 grams. What's special about the oats as well is you want the oats to absorb the water. Give it that thick consistency that will make you feel full. So what I'm gonna do, I'll add enough water, right? And as you can see, the water is even being absorbed. And I like having just one level like a thin level right above the oats. So that's exactly what we want, right? And I'm gonna put it in the microwave and I'm gonna cook it so that the water is absorbed. So I'll take the oats, put it into the microwave and we'll do it for about three minutes, right? And I want it boiling in there. And you're gonna see how the consistency of the oats change. So let's do it at three minutes. 
And as you can see, our oats has dramatically risen, right? So what I'm gonna just do is just mix it a bit, a little bit more, right? And you see, this is the fluffy consistency you want, right? Now, what I like doing once it gets to this point is instead of adding water, I am just gonna add a dash of milk, right? So it can become a little bit more creamy and I'm gonna put it back into the microwave. And you can see it's already becoming creamy and you wanna mix well. And that's the exact consistency you want. Now, I may want to make it just a little bit more watery because when you add the whey protein, it does become a little bit dry. So that was two minutes in the microwave. And now it's going to go in there for one more minute and then I'm going to mix the whey protein with it. So I'm going to add now 100 milliliters of milk. I'm just going to mix that in really well. And personally, this is the consistency I like with my oats. If you need it a bit drier, by all means, but this is a really good consistency. Now, why this is also good, why you want 100 mils, is because now I'm gonna add one and a half scoops of this whey protein, and you'll see it will become a bit drier. And now, we mix. And you can start from the middle, and we're going to have chocolate, peanut butter, whey protein. And I'm telling you guys, this meal is so good. It's, it's a go-to. If you're to say, hey Mike, choose 10 meals, that you can eat consistently for the rest of your life, this will be in there because of how easy it is and how tasty it is and how filling it can be. And this is another one of those easy and quick to prepare meals that everybody loves, just like that. You see, it's not too runny. And even if it is, you can let it sit a little bit more because the oats will still absorb a little bit of this chocolate protein. And where we go. Another pro tip is if you do, if you wanna make it even sweeter, add a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt in it, and it will make it so much more sweeter. And you can add different things here to it. But the macros of this meal is 470 calories, 51.2 grams of protein, 8.5 grams of fat, and 44.4 grams of carbohydrate. What an amazing meal. It's extremely satiating, this bowl of oats. It is the go-to for all bodybuilders and for a good reason, always going to be in everyone's diet. But let me show you guys what all of the meals look like together, and then we'll take it from there. And all of these meals, on average, take about 15 minutes to prepare. Some even five minutes, like the blueberry smoothie and the oats on its own. But everything here on average takes 15 minutes. And what incredible breakfast meals to have. This one again is special because you can make this anywhere at a hotel, when you're traveling. We have the egg white toast here, which is absolutely amazing. And I've made sure to have something sweet in there for those guys who have their sweet tooths. And in reality, these are a lot of the meals that I give to my clients and that they absolutely love and they figure out the meals that they can consistently eat without feeling like they're on a diet but also that is very macro friendly and allows them to maintain their newfound shape but I'll leave the video here if you guys want more of these I'm thinking of making a five best lunches right leaving the video the gentle thumbs up if you want me to make that video and I'm happy to but see you guys in the next one. And comment down below if you have any suggestions for what breakfast meals I could have made or what lunches I can do in the future. Cheers.